Okay, everybody, let's do a review of another survival knife. The reason I'm saying another survival knife is that I did a review of another knife that falls under this classification, a survival knife, if there is such a thing. Uh, it's usually a knife with a uh, substantial blade and uh, and with that a substantial blade, it's a, uh, it usually has a, uh, uh, a hollow handle that has a little, a few treats inside, and that's what this is. Uh, the reason I'm putting these on two different channels is because they're really two different knives. Uh, of course, they're two different knives, two different manufacturers, but their qualities are completely different. The other knife is in the more extreme category, which is why I put it on my uh, Metallic Fanatic channel. I'll put a link to that channel either above uh, on the screen or below in the uh, description, or maybe both. And uh, and this is a this is a very uh, pedestrian knife to be a survival knife. Pedestrian, not in in particular in uh, design, but the fact that it is a uh, a much smaller knife. It is it's actually a knife that could be roughly legal to be carried in my area. Five and a half, five and three quarters is about the limit size of a knife in my area. Let's take a look at this. And you know, nobody has to bad mouth and say this is not a quality blade because I know it's not a quality blade. That's, that's not what it's basically uh, designed for. It is basically designed for a holder for some other bits and pieces. Let's take a look at this and take a look at the blade itself. And it's falling at about five inches which makes it legally carryable in my area. Of course it's going to vary by, uh, by state and sometimes even by jurisdiction. Uh, I'm in, uh, in the Dallas area, in Dallas County, or just above Dallas County, but the, the rules uh, and where I go most often, this would fall within the parameter of being a legal knife to carry, even though I would be very slow to carry this anywhere unless I was uh, in an area where it, would, where it might be required in a city. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's about a five inch blade, and it comes out to be about uh, a little over. 10, 10 and a half inches between 10 to quarter and a half inches long. Now what makes these survival knives different is basically a couple of things. Uh, the, uh, it, it has tools built in. In this case, it even has a, a tools built in to the, the, uh, the sheath. Um, it's a, a pretty plain vanilla sheath plastic, not meant to be have any design elements. It has a equivalent of a whetstone in the back so you can sharpen it on the sheath uh, and it's pretty much along the lines of the other one I uh, I reviewed and I might even do a comparison at some point and basically I said don't give me bad mouth me about this being a quality blade it's not meant to be a quality blade it's meant to be a single use type of uh, uh, knife not uh, not quality into any great degree now with this this is what separates it and makes it a survival knife. It has a hollow, there's a, there's a, a compass. It has a hollow body uh, and uh, the survival elements are always in usually a, a plastic uh, equivalent of a medicine case. And let's see what's in here. I remember what was in these. In the, uh, and these are not easy to get out all the time. Fortunately, you got a knife so you can just drag it out with this. <laughs> Uh, here we go. And it's just got a, a few small things in here. Some band-aids. Uh, a little, uh, I don't know, a little pen. Uh, is that a? It is. It's a pencil. It has a, uh, what do we got here? I think, it, I think this is antiseptic or something along those lines. Uh, not exactly sure. It has another piece of lead. Uh, not exactly sure what that is. <laughs> have a look this up. Now it does have a, a fishing hook, some fishing line, uh, lead weights for the fishing line. So that would be a component of survival. It has a couple of safety pins. So it's loosely described as a survival kit. Uh, but it is a. It has a very long hollow body so you can add more things here you would not have to put them in this little container you could just drop them in uh, you know loose in here and you could have a lot more space to keep things 
Uh, the container just basically, uh, I'm not sure why they put those containers in there. Uh, doesn't really serve a practical purpose, except if you're going in the, in your outside and you're going through water, uh, it would uh, make it water safe for those things that might be water sensitive. So, you know, we just put these little components back in. So, uh, these are not, like I said, you know, whiz bang special, <laughs> has a cap at either end. It is, these are not whiz bang special knives, they're not high quality knives, they're basically, uh, uh, they could have purpose, no, I'm not saying they're not. Uh, they're, they're to some degree uh, curiosities uh, as well. So, you know, it's just nice to, you know, pop this out to your friends and say, hey, I got a survival knife. Look at all the neat things in there. Uh, you could put a whole lot more in there. Like I say, the tube goes down quite a ways. The tube, this is about, uh, this is about uh, two and a half inches. And it is not even close to being at the top of this uh, of this hollow space. So if you get a larger uh, water safe uh, set up here, and, but uh, you know I don't know if you could be able to get this on. You'd have to create it slightly thinner because the the plastic uh, container does come up to the threads. So just want to give you a quick look at this. Like I say, it's not spectacular, but it is a survival knife, and you know, and it's a good for a little single-use knife. Put in your pack, put in your car, put in your van. I'll be putting it in my van. I'll be doing some van stuff in the near future. You guys will be hearing about it, maybe on this channel, probably on a, on a new channel. Uh, so you'll be seeing that as well. In, in any case, I want to give you a quick look at this survivor, uh, survival knife, and it's called Survivor, amazingly enough. I guess it would help if I put the... Uh, band-aids in there. I'll worry about that later. And the compass. So, uh, you know, not a bad little, uh, not a bad little addition. If you, uh, want to buy a, a different, a little, another special survival knife. Uh, did, uh, some of these have springs in them, so this is easier to get out. So that would, that would be a gotcha, I suppose. And I'll just stick this. Eh, not even worry about this for the meantime. I'll, I'll pack that later. In any case, uh, that's basically all I want to show you, this little survival knife. And it's it's pretty lightweight uh, to be a metal tube here. And uh, and like I said, just a basic knife. In any case, uh, that's all I want to talk to you about. And I will be back with you uh, soon with a wide variety of new things. In fact, I'm looking to the left at some things I haven't reviewed yet. Uh, they've been working me so much. I've basically been working and sleeping and eating. In any case, I will talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.